In this video tutorial for Shape version 5, we are going to look at a project template for hydrodynamics, the hydrodynamics module, which includes a jet that interacts with its environment. Here we have set up a jet that emerges from a spherical object in the middle at the origin and surrounded by a flat disk and a high density cloud at some distance. The jet emerges perpendicularly to the disk. And I will now show how this has been set up. First of all, we have set up all the hydrodynamical initial conditions value values in the math module here, where we have, apart from a few constants, um, a reference distance of 100 AU, a num number density of 10 to the 8 for the environment, 10 to the 8 per cubic meter. Remember that we are using SI international units. This is 100 per cubic centimeters. And uh, the jet is given the density of the jet is given as a function of the density of the environment with a uh, density ratio factor n j and e environment which is set to 15 similarly for the disk we have the same proportionality with a factor of 10 denser than the environment and then we have temperatures for the environment and jet set to 1000. The physical density of the um, environment is set up as a function of the number density multiplying it by the mass of the proton and 1.2 to take into account helium and this gives us uh, the density in kilograms per cubic meter Similarly, we have done the same for um, the jet and this density, which we take as a function of the physical density of the environment. And in the end, we compute the pressures for the jet and the environment. And finally, the for the disk, which we set equal to be to the one of the environment. And we're going to use these values in our modifiers for our objects as global variables. So let's have a look at the environment. The environment is given as a very small sphere. It doesn't matter which type of object or how large it is because the environment is actually taking the whole volume that we set up automatically. This is given by the hydro modifier, which is set to background from the three options background, initialize, and boundary. Background fills everything. And this environment does not have a velocity, but we need to set the velocity modifier. And we have set it to zero, it's not moving. And we take our pressure as all the other variables, uh, the density from our environment variables pressure in the variables tab using our use global variables flag which takes the value from the math module this has also been done for the density here we give our variable which is then taking the values from the global variables in the math module. Right. Okay then, this we have done for the jet, the disk and our cloud. Let's have a look at the jet setup. The jet is has a hydro modifier with the boundary options. Since it has to be reset every at every time step to keep churning out mass 
and the density is taking taken again from our math module as a global variable right now the interesting part is how the velocity is set up we have two options here for which we use the last one right now in this model uh, we have set up 300 kilometers per second and a magnitude in spherical coordinates the velocity is radially out however so in order to distinguish it from a spherical outflow from a wind normal wind we set up the radial value as 1 theta 1 and give a phi dependence that is latitude dependence as a function of latitude such that there is a peak around the poles here's one pole here's the other this goes up to 1.1 there is a constant value which is an outflow in all directions but peaking strongly at the poles this will generate a jet the other option which we're not using right now would be to take a collimated a custom field where x and y are set to zero and the z value is set to constant minus and plus which you can do by dividing the distance by the absolute value of the distance and then everything is multiplied by 300 our f0 value to yield a constant value of 300 kilometers per second okay um, and our disk is a torus object with hydro value of initialize because it will be only set up in the first time step and uh, similarly our cloud has a hydro value of initialize set to initialize and the density is taken to be the same as the, as the disk but three times higher okay right and the pressure is kept in equilibrium and is set to be the same as that of the disk right we are ready to go this is our setup now we go to the hydro module click on tile so here we have two two visualizations um, we have a filter set let's take out this filter for now and refresh and we're going to preview our initial conditions this is our final result from an earlier run this is how it should look in the end we're initializing I have clicked on the preview button so it initializes the hydro and shows us what the initial condition will be this will take a second and then I will explain the variables in the hydro module okay here we can see our disk edge on our cloud our constant density environment here's the pressure this is the pressure in the in the jet initialization region okay our general variables are set to a grid size of 90 cells per side no animation is used we are starting from scratch so the resume button is off and we are not pausing the simulation right now so let's see the flow variables courant variable the courant number is set to 0.4 our gamma is uh, 5 third 
the artificial uh, viscosity value is to 10 to the minus 5, a minimum temperature of 100 Kelvin, and we stop at 1.5 times 10 to 11 seconds and have a large enough time step number to get far enough in the simulation. Our cooling is set to be on. Boundaries are all set to outflow. Our camera, these are these views. Top one is density. Bottom one shows the pressure. And our views are normalized. Use square root for visualization. If you set this to limit linear, we can see this. And we can set the same for our density or square root for density for now okay and uh, I think we are ready to go and click on calculate to run the simulation so it's initializing we need to check here whether there are sensible values for the total time time of time step and how many steps being computed or have been computed. Here our first values show and the image is being refreshed so we see already that our jets are interacting and will now continue to run outwards. I will pause for a moment. Okay here we we're back after about five minutes. Our jet is now advancing and is starting to hit the cloud, the dense cloud. We see the increased pressure on one of them. Here's our jet hardly visible. However, let's have a look at using a filter that will help with the visualization, cutting out only a plane this filter has been applied now. We had it already in our filter set up here and just have enabled it. Now we have a cut through the scene, which cuts through the disk, the jet, and the cloud. And we see the Bauschock interacting with the cloud very clearly. and slowly we can observe how it is advancing here. I will pause the simulation, the recording for another few minutes. After another few minutes the simulation has completed and has gone through the whole dense cloud has destroyed it and is now accelerating it outwards. Okay, now let's have a look at the visualization in the render module. Click on the render module and we have set up the basic renderer with a grid size of 90 corresponding to the simulation grid size and the usual default values. And we click on render. We have here now our density uh, visualization and our PV diagram. Now make sure in the 3D module to have an object that is called whatever you want, but should remind you that this is a render dummy object with the property that its render uh, selection has been set to hydro and all the others are set to null. That's very important, otherwise you might get confusing output in the renderer. So these original objects don't render and you have only the hydro to be rendered. And now you can have a look at it at different angles and see how the PV diagram changes. You can of course do this at any point of time during the simulation. As you can see due to the high uh, 
rolling rate in the disk interaction at this low resolution we get actually a square shaped object we can see this also in the preview of the hydrodynamic module switching off the filter that cuts out a plane and then we can visualize this interactively as you can see there's a squarish interaction going on that's because of the low resolution and the high cooling rate because of the high density here's the interaction region with the um, the dense cloud and here's the pressure okay that's it for this video tutorial have fun with this template that will be available on the template page on the shape site thank you